What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Taylor Talks or if it's your first time watching welcome and I hope you enjoy the show. Today's episode I would like to be touching on some baseball because spring training has officially started but we got more exciting things going on in the NFL more trade rumors a swirling in this offseason. The biggest one going on right now, Russell Wilson. We're going to talk about his possible landing spots and if he is actually going to leave Seattle. But before I get into that, guys, this episode today is sponsored by Dossier Perfumes. Guys, you're going to absolutely love them. Check them out right here, website displayed. Also got it linked in the description below. They have the best scents for men and women. They're basically a luxury brand, but at a cheaper price. And if you use my code TM10, you're gonna get even more money off on your first purchase. So guys, please go check them out. I will show you one of my favorite scents, the Woody Sandalwood. Oh my gosh, it's a unisex scent. Good for men and for women. Oh my God, it smells absolutely amazing. So go check them out, Dossier Perfumes, linked right here and in the description below. And use my code TM10 for some money off. Also, look how cute these bottles are. Oh, love them. Now, before I get into this episode, please give this video a like, comment below, and interact with me throughout the show so I can get your guys' views and opinions, as well as please subscribe to my channel while you're here. Let's get started. Can I just say, this NFL offseason has stirred up to be quite a crazy one. A bunch of big name guys moving all around. We've got J.J. Watt, who recently decided to go to the Cardinals. Deshaun Watson requesting a trade from the Texans. Then you had the big Jared Goff and Matt Stafford move. Out of nowhere, Carson Wentz to the Colts. And now, another big name being talked about going to a different team, Russell Wilson. He has said he'd be willing to waive his trade clause for a few select teams. Now, who are those options? In the mix, we've got the Cowboys, the Bears, the Raiders, and the Saints. Now, I'm going to go over each of these teams, what they need to do in order to get Russell Wilson, and if I think it's actually feasible that he'd really go there. Now, before I get started with that, I do want to tell you guys, I personally think the Seahawks will retain Russell Wilson and possibly trade him next offseason in 2022. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think. Is Russell Wilson going to be moved this season or will it be later on? Are the Seahawks going to keep him? Tell me everything. I want to hear from you guys below in the comment section I, and I will be sure to respond to every single one of you. Now, first up on the list of a possible team that Russell Wilson could go to, my Cowboys. Yes, Dallas we're talking about. This does seem like a good option for Wilson because they are a big name franchise, which I'm sure is appealing to him. But then it makes you wonder why other NFC East teams aren't on the list for Wilson because any of those teams would be excited to have him. The Giants aren't on there. The Eagles aren't on there to have him as a signal caller. And even Washington, which is right where Russell Wilson went to high school, right up the road, not on the list either. So why Dallas? Probably because they're very offensively minded which is appealing to him but you do have to think Russell Wilson would be sharing that backfield with Zeke Elliott another big name out there now if this move were to happen Dak Prescott would obviously be shipped to Seattle in exchange for Wilson now digging my teeth into this sinking a little bit further in and looking it sounds like Dallas finds this trade absolutely laughable. They're pretty set on Dak. He's the younger guy at 27. Russell Wilson will be 33 going into this season. They're just waiting to keep rehabbing Dak's injury, get him healthy, and get him back on the field with a deal done. Doesn't really sound like realistically Russell Wilson's going to be going to Dallas. I never thought it would be happening either. I really think the Cowboys are set on Dak as their guy. So I don't think he's going to end up going there. But I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you think the Cowboys possibly get a deal done and get this trade on over to have Russell Wilson come to Texas? I don't think so. But tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. 
Next up, we have the Saints. Now, everybody is waiting for the anticipated retirement of Drew Brees, which makes the Saints a pretty obvious choice for Russell Wilson to head to. They're a consistent team that's proven to make it to the playoffs and probably have the best chance at a Super Bowl run currently out of the four teams that Russell has named that he would go to. So why not go there? It sounds like the Saints are also willing to put anything on the table in order to get him. New Orleans mayor even came out and said they will do whatever it takes to get Russell Wilson to come to Louisiana. Pretty much everybody besides Elvin Kamara and Michael Thomas would be on the table. The Saints would have to put together a pretty special package in order to get Wilson. They'd be giving up their first round picks in 2021 and 2022, as well as some later round picks and probably some guys that are already on the team as well over to Seattle in order to get Wilson. Now, the Saints are $70 million over the cap, which is the worst in the league. So, realistically, I don't think they would be able to get a deal done with Wilson until 2022. But I do think out of the four teams he's willing to go to, the Saints would be the most realistic best option for him because of the roster they've put together, and it will get him a championship the quickest in his back pocket. Let me know what you guys think of Wilson heading to the Saints. All right, guys, I want to tell you guys one more time about Dossier Perfumes. Check them out. They have men's scents, women's scents, and unisex scents as well. Right now, I've got the Woody Sandalwood. Absolutely love it. Girls and guys can use it. It smells great. Use my code TM10. You're going to get money off your first order. I promise you, you're not going to regret it. They're luxury scents for a fraction of the price. So go check them out right now. Dossier Perfumes on the screen as well as in the description below and use my promo code. All right, guys. Also, if we can get this video to 5K likes, I'm going to do an NFL jersey giveaway. So watch this video as many times as you can and get those likes and comments up because the more engagement, the more the video is going to get seen. Everybody that comments subscribes and watches this video you will be entered to win an nfl jersey of your choice any player any team that you want i will make it happen for you so let's get this video to 5,000 views all right so before i get into wilson's next team one thing i find interesting his biggest problem in seattle is the offensive line he feels like he's getting hit way too much so he'd like to go somewhere where he's getting hit less Surprisingly, though, the Raiders and the Bears are on his trade list when their offensive line ratings and stats are quite a bit lower than Seattle. So I find that very interesting. So if Wilson went to the Bears first off, Chicago would go absolutely crazy because their quarterback situation is terrible, as we know. Anything to fix their Mitch Trubisky problem would be great for them, and nothing is off the table for the Bears. The Bears would trade the 20th pick this year, their first round pick next year, a second this year at number 52 overall, and cornerback Kyle Fuller and defensive tackle Akeem Hicks. So pretty much they're willing to get rid of anything in order to get Russell Wilson. Chicago's already been going crazy all over social media about getting Russell Wilson. Him actually wanting to go to Chicago is pretty much like the hot chick asking out the nerd to the school dance. It's pretty comical, but hey, they're on the list and they're in the mix. Will the Bears pull this off? Tell me in the comments if they're going to be able to get this done. My take is no because it's Chicago and they seem to mess everything up when it comes to trades and the draft and getting the right players that they need for their team. So I don't think Russell Wilson will end up going to the Bears, but I think a lot of people in the entire city of Chicago would be extremely excited if it did happen. Now the last spot that I want to go over is the Raiders. The Raiders have had plenty of offers for Derek Carr already this offseason, but they have rebuffed each of them. Once again, the rumors are circulating about the Seahawks and Russell Wilson now possibly going to the Raiders. The rumors, I think, are absolutely ridiculous. I don't think the Seahawks get rid of Russell Wilson at all this offseason, as I said before. They'd be taking nearly a $40 million cap hit, and a year that the cap is already shrinking, so it doesn't really make sense. But the speculation of a trade at this point, I really think is just for more fun and games during the offseason. If it does happen, I'd really be shocked. And the Raiders are pretty happy with Derek Carr, so I don't see them getting rid of him. 
if the Seahawks would be willing to take that $40 million hit, they would then have to make an offer to the Silver and Black Raiders that they couldn't refuse to get rid of a quarterback that they really have no desire to move. So I just don't see this happening. They certainly wouldn't be handing over a bunch of first-round picks to make this deal happen. So realistically, as I've said, I think Russell Wilson stays in Seattle, and this is all just a bunch of crazy talk to get rumors swirling and people excited during the NFL offseason like they always do. I think we're going to see Deshaun Watson go somewhere before we see Russell Wilson leaving Seattle. That's just my take. Like I said, guys, please interact with me in the comments below. Let me know your take on this. If you think Russell Wilson's going to be leaving Seattle or if he's going to stay put. That's all I've got for today's episode of Taylor Talks. Please give this video a like. Comment below and interact with me, as I said. And, of course, subscribe to my channel if you're new. See you guys in the next one.